We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles. The Jays are looking to make history here today. Can they break the all-time winning streak record? We'll see right after this. Asher Wojciechowski gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. The second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Stepping in, Kevin Biggio. Lifetime versus this arm. He's one for four. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard. But this will be a foul ball. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Line drive to left. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher. When you can't go one way, when you pitch a guy in, he pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning this season. One oh hit hard back up the middle a dive and he knocks it down and not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single as a look now the pitch and a double steal try here pitch outside the throw not in time he's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. That is good. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. Throw okay. so won't get him. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. At the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. He swings and grounds it to short, and that's through into center field. Base hit, and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. A good job of hitting right there, Diego. A runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run in. Here's Randall Gritchick. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Now a long throw to third. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Batting it. The catcher. Number 10. So now to the plate, Reese McGuire. High and deep to right center. Hayes on the run for it. At the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now a 5 nothing lead. The first baseman. Number four so it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. This is in the air to left. Chasing after it is Santander. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But not before five crossed. 
Now at the plate, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing and one. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. The third base Coming to the plate now, Hanser Alberto. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. One out, nobody on. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So here's Trey Mancini. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And it's one and one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's back to the top of the order now. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. Yeah, definitely one of those bang-bang plays. And looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. Standing in now, Kevin Biggio as he rips it on the ground to second. To Iglesias for one. Back to first, but he heard the footsteps that time, and the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Stepping in for the Jays, Bo Bichette. He's going, he's going, he's going. pitch. Runners off for second. Owen won the count. Biggio, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Liner in there for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, might not know all the specifics but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one sometimes it happens you start a game and never complete Iglesias showing off his range uh, the throw pulls him off the bag now batter the center fielder Bill McCoy. into the box Billy McKinney now both oh, runners are breaking. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. And that's into the corner. A foul ball in right. McKinney is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. The count now at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. 
But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's eight to nothing. Hey, not hit all that hard, d -roll. He muscled it out there for a two RBI base hit. Yeah, I don't care, Dan. Long dart, off the end of the bat, jam sandwich, doesn't matter. Found himself some green grass and gets two ribbies. At the plate now, Lourdes Guriel. This is line to left. Santander is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The right now at the plate, Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick. He's set. Here it comes. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Now the 0-1. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The relay, not in time. And he's in there with a double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. In now, Reese McGuire. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 10-0 score. Yeah, Matt, credit to this offense. They've been swinging the sticks well uh -huh. all game long. And it just continues here with a two-RBI hit. Some days the hitting gods are simply just smiling down on you. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Mancini moving back into the bleachers and gone. So it's a two run shot to right center. Second home run early in the year as the blowout continues. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Chopped to third. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've been mired in a team-wide slump of late, as with the loss last time out, they've now dropped eight of their last. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Man, this thing's blown open right here. As they've exploded for eight runs in this inning alone, everyone knows that offense is contagious. That much is pretty obvious in this one. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. 
Well, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. One and one, the count to Joe Carter. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. Big inning for him, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Blue Jays on top, 13 to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And it's fouled away. Nunez, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Anthony Santander is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Austin Hayes the next to bat. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now a swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And the Orioles have their first hit of the ball game. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to torrid starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. Set to go now, Ramon Urias. And we'll see if he's able to stay locked in. Without a doubt, one of the hotter hitters on this ball club right now. Not the ideal location for a change. Oh, and they've got him picked off. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here, nothing in two. You're right. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Orioles leave. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 0-1 count and the pitch. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. So one away in the Toronto third. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. 
Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And this one is gone. A home run. Now that is number 10. Into the box now, Reese McGuire. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Still only one out in the inning. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back as the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third. This is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the Lead league off. in batting average, on base percentage, and the slugging. Pitcher. So it's clear Four this row. is a work in progress. One Seven player told me before row. the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the oh, no, numbers being right. what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, nope. especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Here's Chris that Davis now, and he's the looking to get it going play. off to a bit of a slow eight. start this year. Davis. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Jose Iglesias is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Guriel will put this one away, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter, and clearly he was off his game this evening. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Hayes on the run for it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. Stepping up to the plate, Bo Bichette trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Oh. 
standing in now Joe Carter here's a pop up now Severino is there he makes the play and that'll end the inning Blue Jays held in check as they can't add to their slim ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman Hanser Alberto took a little off and it's in for a called strike one Alberto Ball one. I got a ball one throw. Uh, one one. Nope, upstairs. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, oh, but how about the amount 15. of strikeouts? And what's even more right. impressive? No walks up to this point, so he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Renato. Renato Nunez will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Rock solid performance. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. Anthony Santander, the next to bat, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. The next 0-2 pitch to him misses outside. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right now. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So one run here on one. Your Richard Blyer gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped high in the air. Iglesias is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Lourdes Gurriel. So far, two for three in this one. From the stretch. Well, For the current campaign, Guri. Yeah, is get this slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of. So if you can help it, don't miss any of his at bats. Iglesias to his left. He's there. And that's the second out. Up to the blue play. The right field. Randall Griffin. Striding in once again. Randall Gritcher. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. The 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Skips through, and he really has their number now. Four for four in this one. Boy, talk about having a day, d -Bro. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Into the box, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Iglesias is there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is... Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Leading off. All right, Heidi, thank you. Austin Hayes is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. And another foul ball. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. The 0 2 once more. Swing, and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Ryu will do this himself, and that's the first out. Now batting. The second baseman. In now for the O's, Ramon Urias, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on the proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. Fouled away. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. On the mound, he's thinking... Grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And as you can see, they are way. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next, it'll be the fleet footed first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. Hayes is right there. One down. The batter. The third baseman. Digging in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Santander is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Kevin Biggio. So striding forward now, Kevin Biggio. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Going back is the left fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run here in the early going as they just continue to pour it on here. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed. He's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. 
Now that designated hit. at the plate, Bo Bichette. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Already four hits to his credit in this one, looking for a fifth in this at bat. And now pitch on the way. Hit hard up the middle. And it's through for his fifth hit in five at bats. And a good job to get to it quickly and get it back in. That'll hold him to a two out single. Next will be the cleanup hitter Joe Carter. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Boy and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here and those don't come along every day. And that's in there base hit. Dan right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Were you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2 good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive the 0 2 once more line to the right side and that's in there base hit and not in time as the run scores and he is in there. Wow. This has been a memorable game, but for all the wrong reasons. They've given up a staggering 18 runs here, and they can't go home yet. Can you say painful? Sean Armstrong gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Lourdes Gurriel swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Three runs already home here. Into center field, line drive base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Late now, Rendell Gritcher. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Chris Davis at the plate now. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch coming, here it is. He starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Just a touch outside, 1 and 2. Lifted the other way out to left center. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Jose Iglesias is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Count remains at 0-2. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. 
Now back. And digging into the, the batter's baseman. box will be Hanser Alberto. Alberto. And he popped him up. And no one can get there as it falls. Throw into third. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Here comes another 0-2. Not the best change up there, an easy take. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. The 2 2. Had to sit back on the change up, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 is in there, a called strike three. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Renato Nunez is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Swings through it for strike number two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to wrap Digging in, Anthony Santander. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, and they throws him on it. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. Stepping into the box, Austin Hayes. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Strike one to start the at-bat. Fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Here comes the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will. So two runs on three. Leading off the season, the catcher, number 10. First pitch on its way. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Armstrong stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was taken in the 18th round back in 2011. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center. And I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. Fourth home run here in the early going as this lead got even wider. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty B. How about this, D-Row? If you come to watch offense, you've picked the right game to come and see. Five how bombs about? from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Pulled toward right center field. Hayes will back up and put this away for a long out number one. The batter. The third base. Digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one is launched. Look at this. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Ladies and gentlemen. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Number 51, Paul. Wow. Stepping in now, Kevin Biggio. As he'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. Alberto takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. Now batter, the designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. The left field number 49. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. It's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ramon Urias is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Hit back up the middle. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. Now batting, catcher, Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. Out in front of it, strike one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Chopper to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Number 19. Now to the plate, Chris Davis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ball one to start the at bat. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. To one and two now. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. At the plate, Billy McKinney. He singled and drove home two his last time. First offering on its way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got to hurry. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, Lourdes Gurriel singled home a run in his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. He's around first, heading for two. To the plate now, Reese McGuire lifted the other way out to left center. Hayes on the run for it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Toronto, but not to fear as they hold a command. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and stepping up as the shortstop Jose Iglesias tried to check it in its 0 1 and now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game that's taken now it's 0 and 2 changes up on him there but it's 1 and 2 hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Ryu looks in. Here it comes. 
Hanser Alberto comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. One out, nobody on. This one's down to third. He's got it. And there are two away now. The right fielder. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. No balls in one strike. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Going for strikeout number 15. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. One, two, three. Go. Michael Givens please. comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job, but any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. The batter is settling in now, Kevin Biggio. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. Popped into the air, back behind second. Urias has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter, the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. Striding forward now is the DH, Bo Bichette. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Don't want to forget about him. He's set and the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is and sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks and some guys quite frankly like it better on the road than they do at home. Mancini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and th and here's Renato Nunez starting things for his side Leo. in the ninth as they face the improbable the odds of trying to come back Renato. in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here comes Ryu 0-2. Hit out towards second. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Anthony Santander is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Now the 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Now batting. First offering on its way. Austin Hayes started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. A swing and a ground ball to third, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts, but listen, he was good.